I'm Jamal, one of the Rule One coaches, and I love to talk about investing because uh, investing has helped to empower me to make changes in my life. And I want other people to also be empowered to make those changes for their financial futures. And uh, when it comes to investing in this Rule One style of investing, we have very specific tools, very specific methods that we use to go and find and research these wonderful companies. And one of those things is staying within our circle of confidence. Understanding the business is crucial. If we're going to say that we have a wonderful business, we need to go deep into making sure that we know what that means. So if I just throw my money out there to anything, I may be investing in a business that's gone tomorrow. I may be investing in a business where I don't share their values at all. And so that's not what we do as rulers. As rulers, we invest our money based on our values and we stay focused on just those companies within our circle of competence that we know and love. We know these businesses are gonna be here for a long time. Ted Williams wrote a book called The Science of Hitting and in it he had a uh, picture of himself at bat and the strike zone broken into, I think, 77 squares. And he said if he waited for the pitch that was really in a sweet spot, he would bat 400. And if he had to swing at something on the lower corner, he would probably bat 235. And in investing, I'm in a no-called strike business, which is the best business you can be in. I can look at a thousand different companies and I don't have to be right on every one of them or even 50 of them. So I can pick the ball I want to hit. And, and what Buffett is doing is he's telling us that, you know, when it comes to being a professional batter, you've got to swing at every pitch in that strike zone, whether it's a good pitch or not, you've got to swing. But when it comes to being an investor, we don't have to swing. Pitches can come at us all day long, fast, slow, curveball, doesn't matter. If it's not right there in our sweet spot, we don't swing at it. And so when it comes to circle of competence, we're saying, stay right there in your sweet spot. Circle of competence uh, is a wonderful concept and it really comes down to where we spend our time, where we spend our money, and those things that we know and love and use all the time. So as an example, if somebody uses an iPhone, with a MacBook and an Apple Watch, and they've got an iPad and an Apple TV, they may know something about Apple Computer, whether they know it or not. Circle of competence is huge. It's huge because it takes the world of thousands and thousands of publicly traded companies, and it focuses it down to just a few, a relative few, that I know and that I'm comfortable with and that I have interest in, right? So I don't need to know every company that's out there in the market, just the things that I know and understand. I spent a decade working in restaurants. It makes sense I would look at restaurant companies. In terms of rule one, I think it's a very unique concept because if you look on Wall Street, the majority of traders out there, they're not focusing on anything other than perhaps a specific sector that their boss gave them or the entire market. Whereas we're focusing on individual companies that we know, uh, where it's, it's where we spend our money, it's where we spend our time, it's things that we see every day. Focus on your company. Focus on just going deep into that company and making sure you have a thorough of a, a thorough understanding of that business, uh, what that business is worth, and what we want to pay for that business going into the future because we want to own these businesses for 10 or 20 years. So we don't need to own a billion businesses. We just need a handful. If you listen to Warren Buffett, he says you only need a handful to change your entire life.